destination for everything worth knowing about the city of Lowell. I'm Casey. And I'm Tracy, and we are your Mill City Mavens. Today we are here with Fibo, and he works over at UTEC um, as the AmeriCorps Athletics Coordinator. So, um, Fibo, can you tell us what UTEC stands for? Well, UTEC is an acronym for the United Teen Equality Center, and it stands for giving a voice to the youth of the city. Is that what the mission of UTEC is? In, in an overall nutshell, yes. It is taking youth where they're at and trying to give them a better future and also trying to let them know that there's other options out there than just what they're being promoted. So. Um, and how was it that the organization came about? Well, the organization, the idea of it started in 1997 and it it opened its doors in 1999. The reason it started because back then there was a lot of gang violence between Latinos and Southeast Asians, and it was an uproar. And what really, what really made it so that people decided that we need to, I need a, we need a place where it's a safe haven was uh, an individual in Lowell High got stabbed, and he was he was a Latino. And at that point, the the youth in that community were just like enough. We need a place where we can go where it's neutral ground, there's no colors, there's no gangs being represented, and it's a place in which we can just go and just hang out. And it started with a lot of youth actually brought it together, and you know they were able to make it happen. And it took two years, and they were able to open the doors in 1999. So it's kind of like a youth center <laughs> yes, model. Yes, it was definitely. Um, the idea originally was just to have a place to just have teens to be able to go, you know, um, talk. Thing. Well, one of the things that they, one, you know, on the first day that they opened, I believe like a, close to 100 people just wow. came into the door and they were just like, all right, let's play some games. <laughs> let's relax. You know, yeah. Have a good time. So. Now, can any teen join UTEC? Um, yes. However, there is a late age limit. Okay. Strictly for, um, um, you know, insurance purposes and also the demographic that we're trying to reach. Yeah. Um, before, it was started as early as 13 um, up to 20, but now given the new model of what it is that we're trying to really accomplish now, the age limit is um, 15. Okay. Um, so really makes it like sophomores on. And if you're doing, like if, you could just, if you're just coming to drop in and just like kind of hang out and do the programs, then it's f um, 15, 14, 14, 15 until 20, 21. Okay. Um, but if you're there for one of the specific programs that, that we're offering in terms of trying to get you back on track, yeah. Um, then you're, it's up until 23. Like, awesome. we, all, we have a GED program there. We have a, a program that's called Workforce Development that really just, like I said earlier, takes teams where they're at and tries to tries to get them ready to be a part of the, the working force in real life, basically. Yeah. You know, so. Those programs are awesome. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know that you guys definitely have a lot of talent. We have a, we have a break dancing program, yes. in which um, we, it, we don't, if people want to learn, you can definitely come, but it's more of just a space that we, that you can come and just practice on your own. We definitely have instructors that if you want if you want to learn and you you, you come in with zero zero um, background, you can definitely learn some stuff. I mean, it's a really good community. So we can go on down. Yeah, you can, yeah. yeah. You can go on and you know, get your <laughs> do some head spins. Yeah, do some head spins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a couple of helmets. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> just put them on. So we have that going on. We also have a sound recording um, program oh, that okay. happens, which we have a really really great sound recording studio. Our, our sound recording instructor is, I've worked with him in the past, he knows exactly what he's doing. He has a really cool name, Wit Love. Oh, yeah. 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 So, I mean, he, he knows exactly what he's doing. We have um, an, organize, an, organize, an organizing program in which they do state and local um, campaigning, and they go all around the, the, the state, all around the community, making, making changes through, through policies and through politics. We have a culinary program in which you know, teens can learn how to cook and all the all those, all those other things. Um, and do you offer tastings? <laughs> we have tastings. Because uh, if you do, we love them to do a, you know one of our vlogs over there. <laughs> we definitely, we definitely do do catering. Um, Fresh Fruits oh. definitely does do catering. Um, I believe they have a they have something right now in which they're they're catering to one of the colleges basically oh, on, awesome. on a regular basis. So they do they do phenomenal work. And one of the other programs that they have that I'm really proud of is a program that. Myself and a few other of my friends we brought to UTEC. Um, it's called Freerus, and which, like our, our like our own individual mission, our mission within our own program is to expand the presence of spoken word poetry in the city of Lowell. You know because 
my, my friends and I, we were poets, didn't see that there was a lot of poetry happening here in Lowell, at least poetry that is accessible to, you know, all, all age groups. So we wanted to make yeah. that happen. Um, so that, we have our workshops Mondays and Wednesdays from 3 to 6, and anybody between the ages of 14 to 19 can come through, and if you just want to write, you can come and write. If you want to perform, we have different options for you to perform. We go on field trips all the time. This, this, this Saturday, we're going to Worcester. You know, last last Friday we went to Boston, so like a bunch of different things. And you have a big field trip you guys are uh, saving up for coming up, right? Yes, we do. We are. We are. Um, last, last, f- not um on the eighteenth we just yep. formed the the youth slam team, which will be representing Lowell and Freeverse at the uh, international Brave Brave New Voices festival held this summer Ooh, in San Francisco. Yes, that's awesome. So we're so we're saving up. We're trying to get funds. We're trying to have people be as generous as they can and donate and we're trying to raise our own and create material yeah, to get these get these individuals ready to go. So if somebody wanted to donate, yes. what would be um, the well, best way to go about doing that? Well, one of the ways they can do that, um, since right now UTEC is kind of, we're in partnership with UTEC, they're really kind of in charge of our, of our financial funds, so you could either donate to UTEC and put on the bottom free verse, and then we can, we can give that you can give that to us. We are going to be doing a lot of shows upcoming up. Um, in April and passing the hat, so and to passing speak. the hat, <laughs> and letting people know that if they want to donate, where it is they can do, where it is they can do so. In April, we're gonna really buckle down and plan a bunch of shows. So we're gonna have a lot of shows coming up in May, June, and July. We leave in July, so like July is kind of like the last, yeah. last mm-hmm. minute type stuff. But in in May and in June, we're gonna be pushing really hard for a bunch of different shows. You guys have, am I correct in saying you guys have T-shirts and some items yes, that you're selling? Do. Can they get those through a website? Um or Last year we were able to. We need to figure figure out how that's gonna work this okay. year. Um, but definitely we always have them on us. Um, you can always put in a request. The people can like us on Facebook, okay. and, then, and then from there they can let us know like, hey, we want to donate. How can we do that? It's just free verse with a capital um, capital F capital V exclamation point all one word. I and found you today. Yeah. Liked you on Facebook. Well, I thank you so yeah, much. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. So yeah, um, and through there we can definitely come through. And if and if people just want a, a personal show, you can let us know. We come through. We okay. do a show. You know, we have we have our rates. It's all, um, you know, all in under trying right. to just make things happen. And if any of our viewers want any more information on UTEC, um, mm-hmm. how can they learn about you? Do you have? Um, a, well, we have we there's a, there's a website that yep. they can go. Even if you just type in Google UTEC, it'll probably be the first yeah. website on the website right now. On the going on reconstruction, it should be. We have a new website that um, is gonna is look looks amazing. It should be launching very soon. Okay. And awesome. and if anything, it's right in downtown. You can ask anybody basically where UTEC is. We every day we do outreach in downtown, so you can just see us. We usually have um, either some of us have orange jackets, or some of us has blue and two different shades of blue jackets, and we're always telling people. And it's on Thirty Four Hertz Street. It's really it's right next to Expressos, next to the courthouse. It's a really accessible place to go. You can just walk in. This week from our studio high above the Merrimack River. That's our view on Lowell.